Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com demonstrating how to open a Pages document from uh, a Windows PC or any other computer that might not have um, Pages loaded on it. Now I'm doing this on a Mac, but uh, the principles are the same because we are working in a browser. And what you do is you go to Google Docs, and if you don't have a Google Docs account already, just check out, uh, uh, search for Gmail under Google and sign up for a Gmail account and you'll automatically get one. Now up here as you can see here's the links. While you're in your mail account there will be a documents link right here. I've clicked it already and so it's not showing um, a link. Now what you want to do in order to view the pages file just click upload and that'll bring up this box. Now what you could do is from within Windows Explorer or something else just find the file and drag it over here and it'll upload automatically. But what we're going to do is we're going to choose select files to upload. Now I'm going to go into my Dropbox folder and then earlier today I created a file in pages and I'm going to look for that. Alright, so here's my file. It's called Persistence in Prayer. It's a uh, file that I'm going to use at church for my Bible study. And once I selected it, I, uh, I'm almost ready to hit upload. Now, before I do, I want to see right here it says convert documents. I'm going to do that. And then it says convert, convert text from PDF. Well, I don't have to do that because it's not a PDF file. It's a pages file. And so I'm going to choose just this one. And then down here it says destinations collection. You can click that and add it to a certain destination. I'm not going to do that. Or if you want to add privacy policy, you can do that. Uh, these are different privacy policies have. I'm just going to keep it private for now. Now hit start upload. And it will take a little while to upload. And you see there it's uh, already finished. And then you have a resulting link right here. You click that link and it will open the file in Google Docs for you. Alright, so as you can see it has opened the file everything looks like it should. It takes a little while, it opens up and it looks kind of blurry at first and then finally it works. But you can see it's a three-page document, worked great. This has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com.